Hello, ladies. Um, I'm Janet Baker. I've been with Stampin' Up for as long as Stampin' Up's existed. So um, it's been great. I love it. And this is why all the fun stuff you can do. Um, I am going to show you some fun things you can do with our envelope treat boxes. Anyways, um, you get, how many do you get in there? 20 in there, plus you get these stickers on there. I did not ever use the stickers because they're like, they have a certain look, they're gold, and everything I did was kind of more not fancy, so I didn't really use the stickers most. But these are great. They stamp great. You can use um, stamp and blends on them. You can use uh, watercoloring with your aqua painter. Um, they just, they're really a fun, uh, and they stamp really good. Be sure you stamp them before you fold them, okay? Because <laughs> they don't stamp good if they're air behind them. Okay, I'm just gonna show you some fun, different things you can do. Very simple, like this apple one. You, I just stamped it in black and then just added an apple on the front. So just, you know, very simple, basic. Um, I was gonna show you these two. This, this one, this one I stamped on, the, on it and then I colored it in with the um, Stampin' Blends. And then this one, I just used a sponge and sponged it and then did my, all my things 3D on it. So using the same set, just, just different. So it's just whatever you want to do on it. This one is watercolored, the little witchy one. And then here's a witchy that is nothing on it. You, you can fold, you can do them on the front and stamp them, or you can do the back side. Here's one where it's on the other side. See where the opening is right here on it and stuff like that. So you can slide this off and open that up on that one. Okay, you don't even have to close them. This has little gift tags in it, and they didn't fit if I closed it. So just add something to it, and then you can just leave it open and do your little, put your little gift tags in it in there. This one is, I stamped on it with that, with the red, and then I added the dog on there, on that one. And then I woof, 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 woofed all over, all over the back of it. This one was really super fun and easy. It's the, you know, the two-step of your jolly jingle thing. Just stamped right on it. And I stuck some trees on the side, tied a little ribbon on it with a candy cane. So you can do as simple as you want or as, you know, not simple as you want. There's a little bit more elegant one. And this, the whole thing just slides off here like that. I'll show you. And here's another Christmas one. And, you know, I'm really not a big fan of our little wooden stuff, but I like these with that, uh, what's that stuff called? Pearlized enamel effects basics. So it looks pretty cool on the wood. And just drop a blob on there and let it dry. And uh, I really like it. It just adds just another dimension to it. And this just slides off to on there. So those are really fun. Here's our little uh, gingerbread house. And on this one, we did a little trim, a little, see? on there and did some little suckers and stuff on it. And then you just slide that off. You can make it stick out the top. Here's another one that's done sticking out the top of our little trailer. Oh my gosh, don't you just love this trailer? It's so freaking cute. Oh, and they should have known it was gonna be a hot item. I'm telling you, they should have known. Anyways. Really fun. Yeah, this is just a piece of ribbon frayed for the little curtain thing on there. And then just stand, this is DSP around it. So you can make them so they slide off this direction, that direction, whatever direction you want to do. Here's our little gnome. I, I love this plaid. I think it's because I love the colors in it. But 
there's our little gnome. And of course, we have to have our Yeti on here. I just stamped him right on there and then just added some of the other things, stamped around the edges, stamped the back. You can, I mean, pretty much do whatever you want. Here's another Christmas one. Really simple. This stamp stamps really nice. You know, it's just, uh, uh, you know, sometimes they don't stamp as nice, but this stamped really nice, really easy. I added a little bit of Stella. I love Stella on here, just in a few spots. I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't tell. Okay, here's another fun one. And this is just DSP wrapped around it there. And for the guys, here's a, here's a guy one, kind of slides off. And here's another guy one that is just using part of the box. And you can slide this off. Wait a minute, maybe. And you have little hot sauces in there, little bottles of hot sauce. Isn't that cute? Okay, here's another one where we just took one of our die cuts and wrapped it around. And then it's fun to just take a strip of your, um, you can, and your six by six pieces work really good on that and then just trim the little edge off of it. And then I'll have to show you this one, this little piggy. This is, this is pig soap, and we just spritzed. And then if you'll notice this, we took the punch and stuck this in and made a punch edge on it instead of the little hookies that they have on there. I mean, this was gonna have one of our pigs on it, but then after doing this, like, it doesn't really need a pig. It has a pig in it, so didn't get a pig. But. Okay, and I wanted to show you, oh, I'll show you this. This is a, a little Advent Christmas. So here's, here's Santa, and we use that, uh, you know, that stuff you heat that swells up on his beard. Puffy paint, thank you, whatever. Okay, and then just, num we just all of them the same, just, and then I uh, stamped them all with different colors of the ho, ho, ho. So the 12 days of Christmas, and you put treats in there, and then each day they can take a, they can take a treat out. And then, if you want, if you need a bigger box, you can make bigger boxes. So what I did was, I'm gonna show you the difference between the two of these. So you can just slide this off. And slide this one off. Okay. So one of them, I took two boxes, and I just folded it. See? I just folded the insides that were sticking out, and just folded the tips down on here, folded that down. You can do that. And it just works perfect. Look, it just stays there. Isn't that cute? So if you want to do something bigger. And this one, I did it, and I cut them off. So there's your choices. Tuck them. Fold them and tuck or cut them off. Either way you want to do on those. So they're really fun for something if you need something a little bit bigger. And I thought I ought to tell you what fits in these boxes. So I'll show you some of the things that fit in the boxes. A little Debbie brownie fits in the box. Um, two of your truffles will fit in the box. Also, two of your, so you don't have to go buy 10 different kinds of candy to see what works. Um, caramellas, if you're careful, you might could get three in there. If you kind of stack them a little bit, two, two works really good. Of course, gift cards, I think they make it special for gift cards, so gift cards work really good. And then you can get five of your uh, nuggets. See, you can get five nuggets in there, and you can get six Dove candies in there. Okay, okay. I didn't go with the little like M and M's and stuff because I thought you'd want something classier. So that's why you get there. 
But basically, anything you can put to make on a card, just rip it off the card and put it on a box. So they're, they're really fun. And, you know, you can put money in them. And, I mean, let your imagination go. There's all kinds of things you can do. And I hope you guys want to go play with your boxes, your treat boxes. Okay.